Hi teachers, in this video we're going to be talking about deleting and cleaning up your drive and taking time to go through your files. We're going to focus mo mostly on deleting all the junk that you don't want and a couple of tips and tricks for that. So I am going to start on the My Drive page and you can see I have a bunch of files down here that haven't been placed into folders. I tend to organize my drive with the tile view. You might also have the list view turned on as well. And the list view is just going to list everything um, top to bottom. I, I like the being able to see the little icons of things, which is why I use the tile view. So if you have a whole bunch of things down here at the bottom that are things you want to delete, or maybe you have a few things you do want to keep and then others you want to delete, you can use your shift or control key on a PC um, in order to select things. So if I hold down shift and I click on the first item, so I'm gonna click on the first item, I hold down the shift key, you can see a little blue outline um, arrived around that. And then I'm gonna click on the last item. It is going to highlight all items within that series. And I can either click and drag those to one of my folders on the side here. Notice when I open up my folders like that, it does unselect the items. So probably the biggest challenge a lot of people have is they go to drag and their cursor is not on top of one of the items selected. So if you try to drag and your cursor's not on top of the items, you're going to unselect them. So we're gonna put cursor on all the items. We can drag them into a folder. You'll see it, it brings it into eight. Or I could just hit the delete key on my keyboard or I can even right click and hit remove and it is going to remove all eight of those items selected. Now, sometimes we have a batch of items that we want to select and then we want to unselect one of our items. So I hold down shift, I click the first and the last, but let's say this one right here, I don't want to delete. So I'm now going to switch to control and I'm gonna click just on that item and it's going to unselect that item. Now, keeping in mind, when I go to delete or drag those items somewhere, I need my cursor to be on top of one of the items that is selected. Um, and Or I can hit the delete key on the keyboard. Now, you can use the, only the control key, and the control key is when you have really random selects of files, or maybe you're going one by one and you're trying to make selections. So I'm just holding down control, and as I hold down control, each of those items ends up selected. And then again, cursor on top of one of the items selected. I can right click to remove. I can hit the delete key on my keyboard or I can drag them into a folder here on the left and I can further expand any of my folders that I might need to expand. Now, the last thing I want to bring to your attention is searching your drive in a certain way can also help with deleting a lot of the mess. So one of the things that people do all the time, I'm guilty of it myself, is I open up a ton of new documents that I never actually do anything with. Maybe I'm playing with a program. Maybe I need it for just a moment to copy and paste things. But I end up with a ton of things in my drive that are called untitled. So you can actually come up here and search your drive by untitled. And if you do that, it's going to give you all of the untitled things in your drive and you can go ahead and delete all of those untitled things. My most famous thing is I tend to create a lot of videos and they're videos that I don't end up using. Maybe I goofed up in the middle of them or I didn't like them. And so I don't usually give them titles but then I also am really bad at remembering to delete those. So I can go through and remove and delete all of those untitled projects quickly. Again, using that shift key, I'm gonna hold down shift, selected all of those in between, and then maybe I wanna use control and unselect a few things before I delete those. Um, or remove them. The other thing you can do is you can further search your drive 
to kind of narrow down all the things that you want to delete or move to your trash. So maybe you know that those are all PDFs and they're all owned by you. And maybe um, you need to set the location that we're going to take out that shared with me so that we don't end up with any mess there and they're all in my drive. And then I'm going to quick search. You can even fill out the fields below that. So now I've got all of those PDFs and I can go through and get rid of all of those PDFs at once using that control or that shift in order to select them all. You can also drag your cursor over top of files, just like you can do in other programs, and it will select your files that way too. I find this a little cumbersome. Um, I tend to use control and shift, but that's just another option. So hopefully this will help you manage your drive. Um, if you're looking for other ideas, there's a lot of great ideas out there from educators on how to best manage your drive. I tend to use emojis um, and certain file naming conventions to help me keep track of what's what in my drive.